our first guest today tugged at your heartstrings in Jerry Maguire, made you laugh in Stuart Little, and was able to capture the range of human emotion at a very young age as one of the most memorable child stars of our time. But underneath that smile, Jonathan Lipnicki battled the dark loneliness of mental illness with his personal struggles with anxiety and depression. So here to share his story, Jonathan Lipnicki. We're so excited to have you. Uh, Jonathan, I always described my anxiety as like um, a hole I didn't want to get out of. Like it, it, it made me mm -hmm. want to stay deeper. And I was wondering if you could just sort of paint the picture of what living with anxiety and depression specifically was like for you and how old were you when it started? Uh, well, you know, it started really young for me. Um, I think about six years old is the first time I had a panic attack, didn't know what it was, went about my life and then had one at eight years old, which um, ended up, you know, uh, resulting in a spurt of them. And I guess the best explanation that I would use is it felt like every day the world was going to yep. was going to end. Yeah. You know, um, the sky was falling. It was uh, it was awful. It's an awful thing to deal with. And my heart goes out to anyone when I talk to them and I realize that they have suffered with the same thing. I my heart just my heart just hurts for them because it's an awful thing to suffer from. Yeah. That is incredible that you suffered your first panic attack at six years old because to have, I mean, I had my first panic attack at 36 and I still didn't have the language for it to really understand mm -hmm. what was happening. So the idea that you were able to articulate this in this way and look back on it is so important. But I also want to get to the point of people mm -hmm. see you with a smile on your face, like on red carpets. So were you yeah. hiding your depression then or were, were you not struggling at that point or did you just find a way to cope and do both um i found a way to do both i think that when i was working where i know it's the happiest time to me, i would have panic attacks in the moments when i wasn't working and i wasn't playing sports those were things for me that if i could be in the moment then i wouldn't have panic attacks outside of that i would i mean it's if we've learned anything from the past suicides of of many artists and people that are well known uh they all hide behind a smile you know, and I'm still a very optimistic and happy person. I've always been, but it's duality. There are sides to human beings and it's not like it was like, oh, I'm pretending to be happy. I was definitely happy at a lot of moments in my life, but to say I didn't struggle and to say that I worried about ever talking about it, you know, I, it would be a lie if I said that wasn't a huge concern for me. Jonathan, talking to you and seeing you as a man now makes me feel very old. <laughs> so, but I, I want to say I don't make this all about depression. Your movies are fantastic. Yeah. You're a fantastic actor. But as Thank a you. child actor dealing with depression and anxiety, was that the pressure from Hollywood? Was it family? Was it yourself? Where did that become too much for you? Uh, you know, I think uh, some people are just born with the fact that they're probably going to end up suffering from anxiety. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely my parents had it. I think that if I was not a child actor, I still would have had it. But you have to add the pressure of the problem with society. And we see it, you know, now we like to think that we're more empathetic now, but we have the same exact problems. If you look at, you know, um, recent deaths of, of certain actors and you see a lot of child actors who, um, you know, succumb to a lot of things. And it's because we lift people up to terror down you know um i had this pressure from a young age the first time i got asked about drugs that the press card for stuart little was when i was like 10 oh. you know um the fact, that, you know, the fact that i didn't do drugs then builds me into this place where people are like you realize you're a role model role model is the most dangerous word to be called if you're a child actor because you have that much further to fall you know and so it, it, nobody's perfect and i don't want to be looked at ever like a role model. I'm a person, I'm a human being who has struggled, you know, and, and done some a lot of things wrong and done some things right, but I'm authentically going to be me. It's, I love that, man. I love that, Jonathan. It just seems like that's you are you. I mean, you are the embodiment of humanity, man. You, you've come full circle and you've dealt with so much at such a young age. I, I definitely couldn't have d done that. So shout out to you for that. I, I know I walked through this life with my worries, but I want to know what are the main worries that come up for you? And like, has it affected you career wise and personally? Um, first of all, I love I love what you're wearing. I love your suit. <laughs> Um, the you. salmon. Second of all, uh, yeah, it was uh, a lot was career worries. A lot were 
few things I had, and I'll be really frank about it. I had worries about dying every day. I thought chemicals in the atmosphere were poisoning me. I was very irrational, and it's hard to rationalize that when you're at a young age. I also had career worries. I didn't want to be a train wreck. I always was always asked, when are you going to you know, fall off like this actor, this actor? Don't be like them because they're a train wreck, and they have a bad reputation, and they're not going to work again. And mm. I felt like any little thing could affect my career. And so it did, mm, you know, and right. not because of reputation, but because of me and my own emotional mastery. Oh, yes. I know that all too well. I also uh, suffer from anxiety and depression, and we want to help break the stigma. So, Jonathan, what do you personally <laughs> like to debunk when it comes to mental health? There's a lot of uh, wrong connotations about what masculinity is. Um, see a lot of men suffering from a high suicide rate. And I think that real masculinity, really being a quote, alpha male quote, is, um, is the marriage between vulnerability and strength. It's mm -hmm. okay to be vulnerable, it's okay to ask for help. You'd be surprised how many people there, you know, there are out there for you. There's also resources out there for you and nobody should have to do this alone. Well said. That's what's up. And that's, that's what I'm saying with what this jacket. Gift. Vulnerability and strength. There you go. That's right. There you go, Jonathan. Yeah. Thank you so much for opening up your heart you and awesome. your mind with us today. You will help so many people. DBL Nation, to follow along on Jonathan's mental health journey, please check out his Instagram at Jonathan Lipnicki. Thank you, Jonathan. We appreciate you. Your honesty, thank you. Thank Thanks. you.